Hello guys, and this is a Cry Entropy video, and today I'll be showing you how to add in an AI and how to use an AI flow graph for it to follow a path. As you can see here, I'm highlighting a, a pathway that I've created where the AI will follow it. It will follow this pathway at the selected points that I've chosen. So I'm going to just move all just show you how it's highlighted there and I'm gonna put it I'm gonna create one um, in another place of my level right now I'm just showing you um, that it's falling it's just following the path right now I have to, I have to um, go from a distance because um, otherwise the AI will spot me and start firing at me Um, to do that, I have to jump in game mode and quickly press F3, which uh, lets you to f lets you fly while um, the objects are played in the level. Okay, now I'm gonna place an AI here. First, I go into the roll up bar and I click the wrong one, so it's under entity, and you go on under AI, and you find a grunt. Make sure that follow terrain is on or snap to objects that are on. Click and drag, just like uh, adding rocks or assets into the level. And just place it to aerial. I'm going to rotate it so it follows it perfectly. And yeah, that's how you simply put an AI into the level. And now I'm going to make it follow a pathway down that. So I need to go on the AI and you find AI path. Click that, make sure the follow terrain button is on or snap the objects and just click away. Now when you're doing this you have to create different set points for it to follow. I'm just clicking it. Uh, to finish the path where you just double click. There you go, I've created a little pathway, but um, it will not follow it if I jump into game mode right now. So, to do this, I have to select the grunt first. To create a flow graph, let me just try and select it. Yep. Once selected, um, yeah, you scroll on. Uh, from the sidebar, just scroll down and you find you eventually find flow, flow graph. Hit create, and I've already got a flow graph, but I'm gonna create a new one. I'm gonna call it trial and hit OK. Now, this uh, window will appear and it's completely black, blank, so I'm gonna add some things into it. First you add a start node and now you add node AI and you should be able to find AI follow path which is there. Once you've done that move the window a bit so that you can see you must check if you selected the grunt or not. Right click there and click assign selected entity onto there. Once you've done that, you need to see the name of the AI path that you created. As you can see there, it's called AI Path 2. So, let me just drag the window up there and go on the here and path name, you type in the name of the path. Hit enter and you should be able to see that this has changed. Now, all you need to do here now is just click, drag the output into the sink. Once you've done that, it's done. You could um, also make the AI follow that path um, via loop so that it will continuously loop onto that pathway. You need to type in minus one for it to go back and forth along that pathway. Now you, all you need to do is close it down and now I'm going to just zoom out a bit and see if it works or not. 
Once again, Control G, jump and make game mode, and I'll press F3 to make me fly in the air. Now you can clearly see that it's following the pathway without any problems. And eventually when it reaches the end of the path, it will make its way back. Yep, you can clearly see it's made its way back. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it for creating an AI and making it follow a pathway. Thank you for watching and there are other videos for you to watch.